Classic Racers Elite is a retro-themed time attack racing game wherein the cars and fashion are straight out of the 60s and your only competition is yourself. Unless you check the online leaderboards, but I do not. To get right to the point, the goal here is to complete time trials, avoiding obstacles and drifting around harrowing turns, utilizing a vast array of distinctive vehicles. It's about as simple as simple can get, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm a huge fan of driving games, and I've been around the block. Classic Racers Elite isn't lazy work. The cars have a pleasant physicality and real feedback, the tracks are memorable, and there's an eagerness about the production which feels very genuine. I also just really, really love watching the various verdant vistas roll by as I speed to victory. But I'm still not too impressed overall. It's mostly a bunch of little nagging nitpicks which drag the game down, like the egregious pop-in, the dedicated restart button which is slower than restarting through the menu, the way the cars fail to react appropriately to crashes, and an overwhelming lenience in the player's favor. For example, if you don't feel like engaging in fine steering, you can just smash your car sideways into walls and still make the time limit just fine. Or even better, you can plow straight through the obstacles on the slalom courses. What is even the purpose of such barricades if bulldozing them still nets you an easy victory? To the game's credit, it does eventually wise up, asking you to think genuinely about each turn, marry yourself to your vehicle, grow intimate with its handling acceleration, and actually push yourself to improve. But that's after I've already completed 16 tracks. Maybe my expectations have just been spoiled by Midnight Club and the Driver series, which really didn't pull any punches. Classic Racers Elite isn't overall a bad game by any stretch, and aside from the aforementioned complaints, what you see is what you get.